Now, a hundred years after U-boats were deployed by, German, by Germany during the First World War, old photographs of these submarines wrecked off Cornwall have been released. It's believed there are around five of the old submarines lying in Falmouth Bay. But how and why did they end up there? Eleanor Parkinson has been investigating. Previously unseen photographs of U-boats stranded on rocks off Falmouth. Germany surrendered the submarines at the end of the First World War. They'd taken out their engines, but the boats were still able to give up many secrets. It's thought there are at least five wrecks of U-boats in this bay. Now, at very low tide, you can see them from the land, but the best way to see them is to dive on them, and in the summer, you can snorkel over them. These underwater pictures were filmed by a local diver. They show what's left of the submarines, which have now become a haven for sea life. So how and why did these ships end up in Falmouth? In the National Archive, looking at naval records, the actual information, they were brought here for naval trials. And they had a, a big lifting rig called Cyclops, which they, they took the U-boats the out, laid them on the seabed, dropped depth charges, lifted them up to see what the damage was, to find out the best way to sink these things. And then when they finished with them, they brought them as closely to the rocks as they could. And we've got photographs of them actually being hauled out by hand onto the rocks. The divers have also been able to bring up items from the boats. When we surveyed the UC-92, which is the wreck behind us, uh, we found a clay pipe stem, um, which is really nice to find. It's a personal artefact rather than just a piece of metal. It brings a story to life a bit, really. So you can imagine these, these, these chaps in the boat all smoking pipes. It must have been a terrible atmosphere. It must have been absolutely horrendous. So, and it's, it's not a big space to be in. There are 30 men in a space the size of a, a, a shipping container, really. It must have been awful. Almost 5,000 ships were sunk by U-boats during the First World War. This German offensive was deemed ungentlemanly and the huge number of casualties was one of the reasons America entered the war. Eleanor Parkinson reporting there.